G'day and welcome to the Aussie Lawn. And if you're in the market or looking for the most reliable and best push lawnmower you can find on the Australian market, stick around because we're about to review this Honda Buffalo Pro, the HRU196, right after this. Well, it's been quite a few, quite a few years now uh, between drinks with me and, and Honda mowers here. I uh, actually bought my first Honda mower when I was a kid, and I used to uh, mow the local neighbourhood lawns for money and save money. I mean, long story short, saved up all my pennies and forked out. Back in the day, it was five hundred and ninety-nine dollars in nineteen eighty-eight. I bought myself a Honda Buffalo when they first came out. So the Honda Buffalo mower, so which you know, all these ones are now based upon. Um, yeah, so it, it was just released and I fronted up down there and, and I come home proud as punch with this mower. Anyway, it lasted, you know, a good part of 30 odd years and and uh, all good things come to an end. And as I said, I ended up with a Toro, which I've still got. Um, but the Toro's got its limitations and one of those limitations for me is able the ability to cut short and the ability to collect grass no matter what. Wet, dry, long, short, without getting clogged. And that's what this mower does really, really well. Well, as the years have rolled by, like everything, nothing stays the same. And there's been a few changes to this machine since I had my first one. And one of them, obviously, is the price. Now, look, these mowers don't come cheap. Uh, there's In this HRU range, now, I just want to stress the HRU series of Honda mowers, they're assembled right here in Australia, and the design has been designed for Australian conditions. And that's predominantly shortcut, warm season turf. Now. There's, there's four HRU models in the range. There's a domestic machine, uh, which is the uh, HRU19. There's this one, which has got the engine brake. In other words, the dead man bar on the handle. So when you let go of the handlebars, the motor cuts out. Then there's one that you can select that the, the engine goes all the time, but you pull a, a, a lever on the handlebar, and that's what engages the cutters, so the blades underneath. Um, I personally steered away from that because there's obviously more going on underneath the deck for maintenance and so forth. I just wanted a no-nonsense mower. And then, of course, if you wanted to climb to the top of the tree, you've got a self-drive, which is a 21-inch cut. So this is a 19, and they, they do the 21. So all these mowers feature alloy decks. And the beauty about an alloy deck, especially when you're cutting short in sandy conditions, is steel decks and sand, they're not a good recipe, and they do flog out pretty quickly with the sand. It work, it's very abrasive and areas start start rubbing out really, really quickly. I had actually, I did actually have a little mass port floating around here for a while and after one or two serious renovations, because they obviously cut really low, after a couple of renovations, it already had a few years under its belt and before long, the sand was starting to cause rust and, and it, look, long story short, steel deck, renovations, not ideal. Alloy deck is the way to go. Now, these things kick off for the one beneath this, they kick off at about $899. Um, this exact one here, as you see it, it retails for, where is it, $1,129. The one with the blade, the blade break, it's $1,229. And then if you want the full fruit, they're all singing or dancing, self-propelled, 21-inch uh, cut, happy days, blah, 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 blah. You're going to be $769. So as I said, don't come cheap. I hunted this one specifically because it's no nonsense. It's no frills but it's solid, it's hardcore. It's got the, the GX V motor, which is their most commercial motor that Honda make with the cast iron sleeve. Um, huge catcher. Now, the plastic catcher Hondas, that's the easiest way to identify the pick of the Honda range, unless, um, so basically, you noticed in the little intro I did there, full open in the chute. So there's nowhere for grass to get clogged, and that is 
that's a huge plus for these mowers, especially with the sort of work that I'm planning to do with it. And I guess a lot of you guys will too, because if you're wanting a mower for your renovations, your shortcuts, your cooch and stuff like that. Now look, this goes down to about 16 millimeters and it goes high as 80 millimeters. So great height range. Ideally, I probably would have liked it to go a little bit lower, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, it's a great compromise as it is. Very sturdy. We'll go around a few pe uh, few key features in a minute. Very sturdy machine. Very heavy duty. Designed. Hopefully I can get another 30 years out of this one. And that'll make me too old to care. And uh, happy days. Right, so let's just start at the top of the handlebars here. And we'll just look at the um, some of the features. So obviously this is the dead man bar I was talking about. So when that's in, you can pull the cord and you'll be able to start the mower. Um, and then obviously when you want to stop the mower, you just let go, engine stops. Really sturdy throttle cable too. I prefer these manual throttles. Um, a lot of mowers now are going away from that, but I do really enjoy having the control there. If I want it choke right down the end, um, sturdy, reliable stuff. It's probably the little things that make these mowers so popular with contractors, uh, popular for home lawn enthusiasts, and people are just prepared to spend that little bit more. Obviously this here is traditionally a high a high pressure, a high wear area. So Honda's reinforced it. They've got a great situation or a great setup here I should say. Reinforced handlebars where it joins the deck. Um, you're not going to get any flex or any bend out of that with fatigue and use. It's very solid. Um, great, great feature. Something that they've added onto these since I had my first one, obviously flush port, nice little, nice little uh, cap there, hose goes on and you can wash out underneath the deck no problems at all all wheels are obviously uh, ball bearing very very easy to push and again you can see here i'll just lift up worth noting one height adjuster one lever adjusts all wheels at once the strength and reinforcement all this stuff is just amazing you just don't see this on other mowers um, long range fuel tank so one and a half liter fuel tank um, what's that must be a maximum level thing, I'm um, not sure. So plenty plenty of uh, fuel capacity to go the distance. Under here you've got the air filter. Now, I'm actually in the process of ordering, they do a snorkel kit. Basically, I'm, I'm guessing it'll be a tube that runs up the handlebar. Because obviously in these sandy, dusty, renovating conditions, this is very close to the action, the dust and all that sort of stuff. And I don't really want to prematurely clog up um, air filter in here that's actually a really good air filter um, there we go and they just come off and ouch. oh yeah there you go so you used to screw down everything about this mower is built to last it's all built to last so probably going to get the snorkel kit that'll just help the uh, the motor breathe cleaner air higher up the uh, up the handlebars as I mentioned before, you've got one, one touch all wheel height adjustment. And interestingly enough, in the owner's manual, all these heights here actually have a uh, height of cut mentioned. So you can actually know, for example, the highest setting, well, I'll just keep it simple because I'm looking at the book. The highest setting is 80, the lowest one is, is 16. Uh, but Everyone in between has been measured by Honda and it's in the book there. Uh, easy to check oil. Oil check is just there on a long dipstick. So beautiful. And just to make starting that little bit easier, they've got zone starting like most lawnmowers these days. So instead of reaching right down there like my original mower, uh, they've got a mounting on the handlebar there. For a brief period of time, these HRU series mowers did actually go to a, a bagged version. And I know that mum and dad's updated one has got that and what tended to happen was the bag got so full that it became a pain to tip out because it got wedged in there so tight um, and the chute was also prone to occasional clogging there was a big outcry from the contractor community and it basically forced honda's arm to reintroduce the original which is basically what this one is here so back to the plastic catcher huge opening you can jam this thing full of grass and it doesn't get stuck it fills it right to the brim tip straight out no worries at all that's a big plus with these mowers right so when we tip it up on its back and that's the best way to tip any of these four stroke mowers 
spark plug to the sky where possible. Um, so that's generally by sitting him on his back wheels, tilting him back the way I've done it here. So you've got the four blades and you can run them in a couple of different combinations. Uh, originally these mowers came out back in the day, came out with two blades, um, but there was always the provision to make four. As the years went rolled on, they made four blades and mulching standard. So today, four blades as standard, two high lift blades and two cut blades. Uh, but if you wish to, you could put four high lift blades on there. That's how I chose to run my old machine. And it was, you know, it would nearly suck the grass off the out of the ground. It was really, really good for collecting that sort of stuff. So um, some flexibility there. Um, I'm interested to see how this goes. As you can see, she brand new, hasn't hasn't seen a blade of grass. One of the best, absolute best Honda features. And this is one of the features that'll keep going. And I know this for a fact because it's happened to me before, countless stories. The fact that these things are just so easy to start. In 30 years from now, this thing will still be starting with as little a fuss as it will right now. Such a gentle pull on the cable and she always goes, first go. I'll show you what I mean. So if you're looking for one mower that's not a real mower, that's gonna last you a lifetime, it's going to hold together, it's going to be a reliable start, do all the things you want to do, reclaim some of your time than stressing about a poorly designed or poorly manufactured mower. Check out the Honda HRU range. Now I stress the HRU range deliberately because that's my pick of the entire Honda fleet. Um, now if your budget isn't quite there or you don't have as big an area that I do, have a look at the HRU uh, 19 which is the one beneath this one. Um, Otherwise, this is my pick, or if you want the, the self-drive, then obviously you, you're straight to the top of the tree. But that one there, HRU 196 Buffalo Pro, that's my pick. Um, but the same features with a slightly different motor can be found on the HRU 19 at a lesser price. Anyway, guys, look, you're going to see this thing in action very soon. Um, I'm going to use this to do all my scalping, all my renovation. So this poor thing has landed in my household, and it's not going to get an easy life, but it's going to get looked after. Great warranty. Um, off the top of my head, I'll double check, but I think it's four year domestic warranty. That's fantastic. Um, I really don't think you can go past it. It's my pick. It's my absolute favorite go-to rotary mower. I'm Brenton. You've been watching the Aussie Lawn, Honda Buffalo Pro Review. We'll see you next week.